Insights page, and I have a quick tip for you that will help you if you are someone who takes images on a white background. So I don't know if you've ever seen all of your images maybe on your Etsy page or on your shop page, and maybe all of the backgrounds are just slightly different in color, and it probably drives you crazy if you're like me. I, when I see that kind of stuff, it just really drives me insane. So I have a quick tip that will help you when you're editing to make sure that your backgrounds are perfectly white and that all of your backgrounds match. So I think that this is really cool. So all I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna just change one quick setting in Photoshop and then I'm gonna use my Product Shop Pop Photoshop actions. Um, I have two actions that make editing white backgrounds seriously easy and those are, and that is Pop Whites and White Whites. So let's go ahead and change um, our interface first. So we're gonna go to the Preferences in Photoshop and we're gonna go under Interface and under Standard screen mode, we're going to change this to a custom color. So you're going to go down to select custom color and you're going to make sure that your custom color is white. And you're going to go ahead and click OK. And then where it says border, you want to make sure that it says none. So we're going to click OK. So now instead of that gray background, I have a white background. So now if my if, when I edit my image, if the background is perfectly white, it should completely fade into this background. So the first action I'm going to run is pop whites. And this just does a really great job of popping the white background and adding some nice contrast. And that looks great. So now um, you can see there are still some shadows in the sh more shadowy areas of the image. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to white and whites and we're going to go ahead and press play. And then now I'm just going to paint over those areas where it is kind of... Um, where there's like some color casts and some weirdness. And you can see with white and whites, it doesn't get rid of the shadows under my little alligator dude, but it does um, get rid of all those color casts and everything without affecting, I'm brushing it over here, it doesn't affect any of the colors of my actual product. So it's super awesome. And um, now just to finish this up, I'm just gonna go down here and I'm going to soften the shadows a bit under, I'm gonna soften the shadows a little bit right here. So we're just gonna play um, paint off shadows. And I'm gonna take my brush down to 20% here. And we're just gonna kind of brush off and just minimize these shadows. We're not getting rid of them because everything casts a shadow, um, but we are just gonna just make them not quite so noticeable. We're just gonna brush them down a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now the final thing I'm gonna do is I am going to go up to Chris Finish and we're gonna play that. And Chris Finish just gives everything kind of nice crisp edges and just makes everything um, just kind of pop a little bit more. It's very subtle. So we have done all of our edits and you'll see here, um, if I turn off my background layer, there's just this big um, triangle here where um, my guy should be, but we can see here when I turn him back on, he's perfectly white. The background of this image is perfectly white and it blends in um, perfectly. So now if I'm editing all of my images and I'm making sure that they all blend into this white background, when they're posted up on my shop page, they're, all of the backgrounds are going to look the same and all of my images are going to look really consistent. And let me just show you the before and after of that edit with my actions here. I'll just close this group. So here is the before and here's the after. And so changing the background of your Photoshop interface and then using my Photoshop actions is the perfect recipe for making really consistent product photos. Thanks, I'll talk to you guys next time, bye.